I just look forward to the day that my friend and her husband get to meet this baby boy and it's just gonna be like the best. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome to another bump date. We're doing an update on baby Gifford. I haven't done an update in like over 10 weeks. Very unintentionally, but I am back. Here I am. I am filming in my master closet because my kids are trying to sleep and I don't want to wake them up. And this is the quietest place I could find. So let's get into it i honestly don't have a lot to say but i will fill you in on what i can think of i am officially 31 weeks i turn 31 weeks on tuesday i'm not sure which day i will upload this but when i do upload this i will be 31 weeks pregnant which is insane um i cannot believe that we are already this far into this pregnancy we are so close to the end you guys I I'm just I'm blown away by how far we are <laughs> I just look forward to the day that my friend and her husband get to meet this baby boy and it's just gonna be like the best so as far as symptoms for 31 weeks I have gotten my nausea back a little bit there's days that I feel like a little bit nauseous and there's days that I feel a little bit more nauseous it's nothing bad to wear I I'm throwing up all the time I just I feel nauseous I'm not throwing up so that's good I'm out of breath a lot obviously I'm getting bigger and just doing things is hard being on my feet is hard um, if I'm on my feet for a long period of time my sciatic nerve kicks in and it really hurts I've noticed lately that my lower back has been hurting if I lay on my left side or my right side in bed my sciatic nerve kicks my butt so I've been laying on my back, which isn't necessarily that comfortable, to be honest, but it's the only way I'm not in pain. So that's the way I've been waking up, and unfortunately, like I said, it's not the most comfortable laying on my back, being 31 weeks pregnant, but you do what you gotta do so you're not in pain. I've never really gotten back to being able to eat a lot, unfortunately. I can eat when I wake up, during the day, I eat a couple times a day, and then I drink water. Sometimes I drink coffee. Coffee has kind of been a no-go this entire pregnancy, but that's okay. So, I eat a couple meals a day. I snack as needed. I get up and snack at night a lot, if we're being honest, a lot. And that's okay. So, I have not gained a lot this pregnancy. I was... 167 when we first started and the last time we weighed I was 162 so I've actually lost but I believe I don't know I have no idea actually I will probably start gaining here very very soon so we shall see about that another thing I noticed which is very normal in late pregnancy I'm tired a lot but it's okay. I have my four kiddos that I take care of every day and thank goodness most of them are able to fend for themselves most of the time so I don't have to do a lot and they're okay with watching movies and just hanging out so that's a plus. I will show you the bump really quick. I've gotten a lot bigger. This is the front. This is the right side and the left side take off this <laughs> look how bad you guys the left side front and the right side one thing I did forget to mention is baby is always on my right side I believe he is head down and he's always hanging out on my right side he's always right here and he, he's always a little bit up in my ribs so I can't quite sit up straight anymore like for long periods of time because if I lean forward like I literally can't because he's right there and he's in the way but I had the same thing happen with my son Carson he was always on my left side and he did the same thing so I kind of remembered what it was like and I'm still enjoying 
every second of this pregnancy because it is my very last pregnancy ever. So I'm enjoying it while I can. But anyways, that was my bump and uh, he's getting bigger, that's for sure. I feel all of his movements. I, I feel everything. Last night I was actually laying in bed and I pee a lot, which is another symptom, I guess. I pee a lot and even when I don't have to pee, I feel like I have to pee. So last night I was laying in bed at kind of an angle and I felt like he like stomped on my bladder and it was the worst pain ever, like ever. And I'm like, oh my God, that was like my reaction. <laughs> it hurts so bad. But beyond that, I have not had any vagina lightning, if you guys know what that is. I haven't had any of that. Thank gosh, because that sucks. <laughs> I also wanted to mention that Katie and I did an interview with Channel 8, and they did a little article on us, and there's a little video. I will try to attach the article in some way in the video, and um, I'm going to try and also put the video here like after this come on pop it like you mean it Woo! katie gifford thought this day might never come we had looked into like going through a surrogacy like agency and seeing how expensive that was it was like devastating like there was no way we were going to be able to have children this way katie has a muscle disease that prevents her from being able to have children one day at a school reunion, she asked her close friend of 15 years, Lincoln resident Jessica Gentry, a question. Hey, hypothetically, would you ever be a surrogate for someone? And yeah. um, she was like, well, it would depend on for who. And I was like, <laughs> well, for me. Jessica, a mother of four, thought she was done having children. But when Katie asked her if she would be able to carry her baby, she did not hesitate. I asked my husband, and he's like, yeah, sure. So, yeah. And so then <laughs> I talked to my husband, and he was like, she would do that for us? No way. Jessica says it's an honor for her to carry her best friend's baby. I think it's really amazing. Like, I never thought I would be able to do something this big. So, like, the fact that I'm able to do it makes me feel really, really good. Katie says she's grateful that her best friend was so willing to help bring her baby boy into the world. Jessica wasn't our last choice. She was our only choice. It just melts my heart and makes me feel so like overwhelmingly blessed to have have you in my life. Like, oh my God, I love you. Thanks, I love you. <laughs> Reporting on Lincoln, Yosef Nasser with Nebraska's trusted news source. The link will be down below and you can go check it out. That was pretty cool. They're gonna do an update on the article after baby is born and everything. So we were pretty excited about that. Also, we got maternity pictures done and they turned out beautiful oh oh my gosh they turned out so so good and katie and jason are fine if i include those in here so i'm going to include those at the end of the video we are getting so close to meeting mr baby gifford and i'm so excited in about a month actually i will be moving in with my friend and her husband for the last couple weeks of the pregnancy and that way I can have baby in Sioux Falls because in Nebraska if I have the baby I have to be on my birth certificate and they have to adopt the baby so therefore I'm going to go where they live and have baby there so they don't have to worry about any of that. So I'm so excited because I get a month with my best friend and we get to hang out and watch movies and TV shows and eat all the food and just like spend time together and I'm so excited. So I'm gonna end this video and I hope I will be able to put up more updates soon for baby and I will chat to you guys later.